Hello and welcome to Tech Deals How To Guide, how to safely prepare your computer for sale or donation so that when your computer goes away, your files and personal information don't go with it. This isn't something that a lot of people think about very often. After all, how often do you donate or sell a computer? Perhaps you've sold your computer online or locally via Craigslist, or you have a friend or family member at either work or home or maybe in the next state that you're giving your computer to. That's wonderful, except you want to make sure that when they get the computer, it becomes theirs and not stays yours. There's a couple of things to think about when it's time for your computer to leave. One thing you don't want to do is just go into File Explorer and either delete or copy your files to another computer, uninstall a couple of applications, and go, well, my program icons aren't on the desktop. Everything's great, right? Nope, stop, don't do that. Windows stores a lot of your personal information in the Windows registry and in your user folders in the computer that are not readily accessible. You can get to them, but that's a very advanced function. For example, your programs that may be registered to you or you've activated online, uninstalling them does not necessarily remove your name or your activation codes from Windows. They're stored in the Windows registry. And the reason for that is so that if you ever re-download them or reinstall them, you don't have to activate them again. It remembers who you are. Except what happens when you're giving your computer to somebody else? That information is still there. How do you remove it? In theory, you could go through the registry and go through every hidden folder on the hard drive and try to find everything, but odds are you'd miss things. Furthermore, deleting files. In Windows, deleting files deletes the pointer to the file. It does not overwrite the file on your hard drive. The files are still there. It's not until the drive is wiped out by having zeros written across the entire drive that your data is actually destroyed. So just going into Windows Explorer and deleting files and going into Control Panel and uninstalling your programs is not good enough. However, thankfully, Microsoft has provided us with an easy-to-use solution that does not require that you go fumbling about for an installation DVD or create USB thumb drives or try to figure out what to do. What's the solution? System Restore. I'm going to show you in a couple of easy steps, how you can reset your machine to like new configuration and wipe all of your information off the drive so it's safe for you to give away or donate or sell your computer. The first thing you need to do is make sure your data is secure. Do you have all of your personal data you want to keep off your computer? Preferably you have a backup, but you've gotten all your information off your computer because what I'm about to show you will destroy all personal information on this computer. So don't do this until your data is safe. You want to go down to Start and you want to come up to Settings. Once you open up the Settings window, you want to come to the far right of the screen on the bottom row to Update and Security. In Update and Security, you want to come down for to the Recovery tab. There are two items in the Recovery tab. The top one is the one you care about, reset this PC. Now if you actually read it, it says if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your files or remove them and then reinstalls Windows. Microsoft leaves an encrypted, protected, original installation set of files on your hard drive so that it can wipe your drive and then reinstall Windows from scratch and it'll be just like your machine was brand new. You have the option to keep your personal files in your documents folders and video folders. Caution, if you're keeping your computer and doing this because it's not running well, make sure you have a backup. It's not guaranteed to keep every file. It might delete something you wanted to keep. Furthermore, there's two options. Hit Get Started. Keep my files, remove everything. I'll mention that in a second. Keep my files, remove everything. Keep my files as if you're keeping me, your machine. We're not. We want to wipe everything off this machine. So choose remove everything. This deletes your programs. This deletes your personal information, program registration information, everything. It makes it like a brand new computer. And now there are two options, and this is very important. The second option zeroes the drive and make sure that everything is completely obliterated. The top option is much quicker, but all it does is delete the pointers to files. 
Somebody who really wanted to recover information could. The bottom option will take hours. However, it will actually have the drive write zeros across the entire drive and obliterate all your personal information so it's completely unrecoverable. Just keep in mind that if you've got a one, two, three, four terabyte hard drive, this will take several hours. So, do this when you have time to just let the machine run uninterrupted because you will not be able to use it while it's running. I'm going to click remove files and clean the drive. Warning, resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, any apps and programs that did not come with this PC, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Here's the beauty of it. Once we click reset, and once it goes through the process, the computer will end up rebooting, and the very first screen that will come up is the setup window screen, and the machine will be like it was brand new, out of the box, had never been touched, and that's pretty cool. So if you are donating or selling your computer, deleting your files and uninstalling some programs are not enough. Make sure that you reset your PC, remove everything, and wipe the drive. This will keep your information insecure. And the, the, the good thing about this is when the new person sets the machine up, they can set it up for them. It'll come up and ask for time zone and user account, and it'll ask for personal privacy settings. It lets them set up the machine as if it was a new computer. That is a much better choice then having them turn it on and see your name in the user account. So I'm going to go ahead and click reset because I am actually going to wipe this machine now. And it's working on it. I'll show you the start of it. Just thinking about it. I should have hit that and then set everything. And there we go resetting. That actually took longer than I'm used to, but fair enough. Um, so I will have trimmed some of that out. That took uh, over a minute from when I clicked the reset button. So if you click reset and it appears to not be doing anything, give it a minute or two. Um, if you're on a hard drive, it may take some time. And so now it's going to be restarting the machine and I will wait long enough for it to start the first section before we end this because this is going to take probably three hours. So. No, I'm not going to film the whole thing. That would be silly. And now we're resetting the PC. The system is rebooted. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, it will see reset, say resetting this PC. Because I chose to wipe the drive, this is going to probably take three or four hours. I am not going to film this. Even to trim it, it would simply be way too long. At this point, what I'll tell you is there's nothing further for you to do. Leave the machine, go have dinner, go do something else. It's going to sit here and wipe it. But when it's finished with the final reboot, it will come up to the very first screen of Windows 10 that says, please choose your language, please cho choose your time zone, then it will ask for user accounts, it'll be a brand new computer, and all of your files will be safely removed. And it's, once it comes up to that screen, normally you're not supposed to force power off your machine, but when it does come up to the screen saying, choose your language, choose your time zone, hold the power button down for four seconds and force turn it off unplug it, you're done. Do make sure to remove anything from the DVD drive, remove your wireless uh, keyboard or mouse adapter if you have one, um, blow the dust out of the machine, get it ready for the new owner, it's now safe and completely wiped of all your information. And they have basically a brand new machine, they'll turn it on and they'll think you s they got sent a brand new computer, you can't beat that deal. Like this video if you like it. Don't if you don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there. If you've already subscribed, thank you. And if you haven't, now's the time to click the button. How-to guides, performance videos, tech deals of all sorts and kinds, um, unboxings. You will get notifications of future videos by subscribing. Thank you. Comments and questions, leave those in the comment section below this video. And Check out my video description below for links to other interesting videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.